Welcome to Common Prayer Daily, your guided meditation through scripture and prayer. Today is Wednesday, and this is proper 22 of ordinary time. Let's pray. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Let us humbly confess our sins unto Almighty God. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore Him. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before His presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to Him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In His hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Psalm 119, beginning with the 145th verse. I will call with my whole heart. Answer me, O Lord, that I may keep your statues. I call to you, O that you would save me. I will keep your decrees. Early in the morning I cry out to you, for in your word is my trust. My eyes are open in the night watches, that I may meditate upon your promise. Hear my voice, O Lord, according to your loving kindness. According to your judgments, give me life. They draw near who in malice persecute me. They are far from your law. You, O Lord, are near at hand, and all your commandments are true. Long have I known from your decrees that you have established them forever. Behold my affliction and deliver me, for I do not forget your law. Plead my cause and redeem me. According to your promise, give me life. Deliverance is far from the wicked, for they do not study your statues. Great is your compassion, O Lord. Preserve my life according to your judgments. There are many who persecute and oppress me, yet I have not swerved from your decrees. I look with loathing at the faithless, for they have not kept your word. See how I love your commandments. O Lord, in your mercy, preserve me. The heart of your word is truth. All your righteous judgments endure forevermore. Rulers have persecuted me without a cause, but my heart stands in awe of your word. I am as glad because of your promise as one who finds great spoils. As for lies, I hate and abhor them, but your law is my love. Seven times a day do I praise you because of your righteous judgments. Great peace have they who love your law. For them there is no stumbling block. I have hoped for your salvation, O Lord, and I have fulfilled your commandments. 
I have kept your decrees and I have loved them deeply. I have kept your commandments and decrees for all my ways are before you. Let my cry come before you, O Lord. Give me understanding according to your word. Let my supplication come before you. Deliver me according to your promise. My lips shall pour forth your praise when you teach me your statues. My tongue shall sing of your promise, for all your commandments are righteous. Let your hand be ready to help me, for I have chosen your commandments. I long for your salvation, O Lord, and your law is my delight. Let me live and I will praise you and let your judgments help me. I have gone astray like a sheep that is lost. Search for your servant, for I do not forget your commandments. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Second Kings, beginning with the 22nd chapter, the 14th verse. So Hilkiah the priest and Ahikim and Akbor and Shaphan and Asiah went to Huldah, the prophetess, the wife of Shalom the son of Tikva, son of Heras, keeper of the wardrobe. Now she lived in Jerusalem in the second quarter, and they talked with her. And she said to them, Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, Tell the man who sent you to me, Thus says the Lord, Behold, I will bring disaster upon this place and upon its inhabitants, all the words of the book that the king of Judah has read, because they have forsaken me and have made offerings to other gods, that they might provoke me to anger with all the work of their hands. Therefore my wrath will be kindled against this place, and it will not be quenched. But to the king of Judah, who sent you to inquire of the Lord, thus shall you say to him, Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, Regarding the words that you have heard, because your heart was penitent, and you humbled yourself before the Lord, when you heard how I spoke against this place and against its inhabitants, that they should become a desolation and a curse, and you have torn your clothes and wept before me, I also have heard you, declares the Lord. Therefore, behold, I will gather you to your fathers, and you shall be gathered to your grave in peace and your eyes shall not see all the disaster that I will bring upon this place. And they brought back word to the king. Then the king sent, and all the elders of Judah and Jerusalem were gathered to him. And the king went up to the house of the Lord, and with him all the men of Judah and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and the priests and the prophets, all the people, both small and great. And he read in their hearing all the words of the book of the covenant that had been found in the house of the Lord. And the king stood by the pillar and made a covenant before the Lord to walk after the Lord and to keep his commandments and his testimonies and his statues with all his heart and with all his soul to perform the words of this covenant that were written in this book. And all the people joined in the covenant. A reading from the book of 1 Corinthians, beginning with the 11th chapter, the 23rd verse. For I received from the Lord what I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night when he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And the same way also he took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Whoever therefore eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty concerning the body and blood of the Lord. Let a person examine himself then, and so eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For anyone who eats and drinks without discerning the body eats and drinks judgment on himself. That is why many of you are weak and ill, and some have died. But if we judge ourselves truly, we would not be judged. But when we are judged by the Lord, we are disciplined, so that we may not be condemned along with the world. So then, my brothers, when you come together to eat, wait for one another. If anyone is hungry, let him eat at home, so that when you come together, it will not be for judgment. About the other things, I will give directions when I come. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show your mercy upon us, and grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide those who govern us, and lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness, and let your people sing with joy. O Lord, save your people, and bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, and defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God and take not your Holy Spirit from us. Take a moment of silence at this time to reflect and pray for others. Almighty and everlasting God, you are always more ready to hear than we to pray, and to give more than we either desire or deserve. Pour upon us the abundance of your mercy, forgiving us those things of which our conscience is afraid, and giving us those good things for which we are not worthy to ask, except through the merits and mediation of Jesus Christ our Savior, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life, and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us safely to the beginning of this day, Defend us by your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor run into any danger, and that guided by your Spirit, we may do what is righteous in your sight. 
through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Christ God, who art worshipped and glorified at every place and time, who art long-suffering, most merciful and compassionate, who lovest the righteous and art merciful to sinners, who callest all to salvation with the promise of good things to come. Receive, Lord, the prayers we now offer, and direct our lives in the way of thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, cleanse our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our minds and deliver us from all affliction, evil, and illness. Surround us with thy holy angels, that guarded and instructed by their forces, we may reach unity of faith and the understanding of thine unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto ages of ages. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time, with one accord to make our common supplications to you, and you have promised to your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will grant their request. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you for praying with us today on Common Prayer Daily. Visit our website, commonprayerdaily.com, to follow along with our liturgy and access additional resources. If you enjoy this podcast, consider leading us a rating or review on Apple iTunes, and also possibly becoming a patron of our podcast at patreon.com slash commonprayerdaily. Let us go forth into the world rejoicing in the power of the Spirit. Thanks be to God.